it moves right pretty quickly yep. to those low lying areas. And at this point, what do you do? It's too late to move a lot of those cars. And a lot of people are in trouble without even realizing what happened to them. How many people in their in their work in their in their office sitting there? And what's interesting about this is is what Jerry mentioned is you know it, it's it's the runoff from areas that are higher and the street, the way these things are kind of designed. I mean, it almost creates an area for this water to start rushing down to collect and then it picks up. And so that's what you're seeing. So this is five points south here in the Birmingham area, and you can see a how fast this stuff is moving. You got a couple of folks. Looks like that person parked their car there this morning, this afternoon. Uh, there's some pretty significant water around that, but it's just kind of following the path of the road. So it's not going into any of the businesses nearby, it looks like, because you see that business behind it. Mm -hmm. It's all kind of just funneling so and making its way, kind of following the path of the road into even lower areas. I do have some reports coming in too. Uh, thank you, Jerry Tracy. Some water rescues. We told you one earlier, 28th Street South, um, right near University Boulevard. Um, one just coming in too. Another water rescue, 2400 block, I believe this says, of 3rd Avenue South. So right downtown, uh, mm -hmm. some type of water rescue happening as we speak.